last prism example. So this is a prism that's uh, very long here. And the base, notice I'm calling the base what it's sitting on, 10 times 10. Actually, in a rectangular prism, any, sh any side can be a base because the rule is a base has to occur twice. It has to occur throughout the object. And I can call this 10 by 10 a base because it's there at the top also. It occurs twice all the way through the object. So uh, the total area is equal to Uh, the base, there are two of them, it's 2 times 10 times 10, 10 times 10, and there is uh, the one on the side, the one that's kind of shaded here, that one's 10 times 35, there are two of those, 10 times 35, plus uh, there's the one in the front, that pin's not cooperating, uh, the one in the front right there, and there's two of those. So 2 times 10 times 35. Now, notice these two end up being kind of the same, and that's because the base is a square. Actually, there are four sides. There, there are four sides total that are 10 by 35. Uh, so we'll add all this up. This is 200 plus 700 plus 700. So that ends up being 1,600. Um, this is area measured in squares, centimeters squared, or square centimeters. The volume of this shape is the area of the base times the height. Area of the base is 10 times 10, or 100, times the height, which is 35. And 100 times 35 is 3,500. And this is volume, so we say centimeters cubed, cubed or cubic centimeters.